Welcome to This Week News Online, our weekly presentation of news about your community's schools, city governments, and high school and local sports. In Upper Arlington this week, a group of residents have filed an appeal to stop the demolition of a historic home at 1935 North Devon Road. The Board of Building Standards will take up the appeal, and Council and the Board of Zoning and Planning will also address the controversial issue of preservation in a city's historic district. And now we go to Bexley High School for a report from Quinn Bowman. The Bexley Board of Education last week received a report on the State of the District's Technology Department and acted swiftly, firing Network Manager Curtis Mason. The 12-page report compiled by Dublin-based Haskell Technologies says that communication between the district technology staff and students, teachers, and administration is very strained. It recommends the district hire a technology director to improve the department's functionality. The report also says the district does not have a coherent plan for switching its computers to the Linux operating system. District officials claim that the switchover should save hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mason says that he's a scapegoat and was fired because the district did not fund technology after a failed levy in 2003. Thanks, Quinn. And now we go to Anders Larson for sports. In a week filled with high school teams chasing postseason dreams, it's an out-of-season sport that's making its way to the forefront. In club soccer, Central Ohio teams won 12 State Cup titles last Sunday at Spindler Park in Columbus. Finals for the under-19 boys and girls teams will be held June 2nd and 3rd. The Midwest Regional Cup Tournament is scheduled for June 22nd through 27th in Des Moines, Iowa. Back in prep events, tennis players are seeking state tournament berths while competing at the district level on May 19th and 20th. In baseball and softball, district tournaments wrap up and those champions will open regional play on May 23rd. That's your community this week. To see our coverage in detail, please see our print edition delivered to your doorstep each Thursday. And for more information on these and other stories, visit thisweeknews.com.